Hi friends, welcome to So I had this very interesting dream. It was like a movie, it was so vivid. I woke up, I was sweating and I was scared and I had worked with one woman in the past during my student days in Europe and I did my best to work with her but she always wanted more and more. She drained me and my studies began to suffer. I had to choose between my future and the present. And at that time, I chose my studies, which is my future. And then I resigned from this job. So this week, many years after, I saw her in my dreams. And it was like I was back working with her. Then in the dream, she began to complain and complain. And I told her, no, you can't do this again. I have a better job now. I work with the government and I have a home and I have a family and I have more stability but I am here to just help you. I told her that I was leaving since she was complaining and she lost it. There was this big issue. She began to break things and I was distressed. <laughs> I, was, I was so scared that when I woke up from this dream I was wondering, I was sweating. I was wondering what's the meaning of this dream? Why, Lord, what are you trying to help me to see? What are you trying to explain to me? And I'll tell you what I think God was saying to me as we go on. First, let's define. Let's define this concept of dream. What are dreams? Well, definition from the dictionary is dreams are like natural part of the sleep circle and they occur during the rapid eye movement. REM it's called the REM stage. They are a series of images, of emotions, of sensation and thoughts that involuntarily occur in the mind. And this happens while you're sleeping. Now the exact purpose of dreams, according to that definition, is not fully understood, like you can't explain it. They are like believed to play a role in memory consolidation and emotional processing and problem solving. Now, dream can be vivid or it can also be vague, pleasant or unsettling like the one I had. And they often reflect aspects of our experiences, our thoughts during the day or our thoughts before we went to bed and emotions. Now, the studies of dream is a fascinating field uh, known as neurology. Okay, I hope I said it right. How do we interpret dreams? Now, dreams interpretation is a subjective and a spiritual process, okay? There are various approaches to understanding the meaning of dreams, okay? Uh, now, if you read in the passage of, in the Bible, you see Genesis chapter 20 verse 3, but God came to Abimelech in a dream by night, and he said to him, Behold, thou art but a gone man, like you are, you are done. For the woman which thou hast hath taken, for she is the man, she is a man's wife. Jacob at Laban's house, he had a dream in Genesis chapter 31, verse 10. Joseph's dream in chapter 37 of Genesis came through as well. Okay, in 1 Samuel chapter 3, from verse 1 to 15, or to the end of the chapter, you see the young boy sleeping. I don't know if that was a dream, but <laughs> he had a voice speaking to him, which was the prophet Samuel. And he went to ask Eli, and if you read the story, you'll see. Now, there are general interpretation of dream. Personal symbols, you consider that symbols and scenarios in your dream may have personal meanings. Okay, that's general interpretation of dreams. Okay, you have a specific object or situation that might hold significance based on your individual experiences and emotions. Okay, then there is also emotion, the emotional tone in a dream. Now, pay attention to the emotional tone of your dream. Okay, how is it? Like, is it fierce emotions? Because emotions in dreams can offer insights into the current state of the mind or the subconscious or your feelings. Now, the context of your dream is very important to watch and to notice. Relate the dream to your waking life. 
how do you live generally okay the context of the dream often draw upon recent experiences upon thoughts or concerns and reflect on any parallels between your dream and your daily life okay there's always sometimes a link between these two things these two things recurring themes in your dream um are very important look at the themes the symbols in your dream the pattern may emerge over time because when you keep that you, it will provide clues about persistent thoughts fears or desires now there are cultural symbols as well okay cultural symbols sometimes universal meanings okay uh, like a calabash it means something to different people and those symbols can be influenced by your cultural or your personal associations uh, so my advice is that you keep a dream journal my mom used to say she has a journal where she writes her dream maintain a dream journal that you can record your dreams regularly and over time the patterns may emerge and you may gain a better understanding of your dream and the symbolism of it now sometimes it's important to consult outside resources okay your pastor your leader they will be able to help explain okay or psychological resources professional resources that provide interpretations to help you understand some of the common symbols okay your leaders can help however keep in mind that these interpretations are not universal people can interpret it different and they are not universally applicable and they may also vary so if your dream is causing you significant distress or if you are curious about the recurring dream that you're having you might want to consider consulting with a professional okay like as i said your pastor a psychologist a therapist uh, who specializes in uh, dream analysis especially when you have been through trauma ptsd Okay, remember that dream interpretation is subjective. It's a subjective process. And the most important insights, the most important insight often comes from your own personal reflections and associations. Okay, it can be a way through which God connects or communicates with you. You can also see it as a tool of self-discovery. Like you see in Samuel chapter, first Samuel chapter three, from verse one to fifteen, and even till the end of the chapter, I think that from my own dream, God was telling me to watch out who I help and be and be discerning. He wants me to be aware of manipulation of any kind as I go into a new phase of my life. Okay, so that's my own interpretation. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe share this video can you comment and share any dream that you have had in the past did it come to pass god bless you and see you in the next step bye until next time love you